Wisconsin got a 70-61 to win over Northwestern in the quarterfinals of the Big Ten tournament. Let's take a look at some of the film on how they did it. Wisconsin was great in pick and rolls, averaging 1.233 points per possession in them in this game. So this one's going to flow into an empty pick and roll, which is just normal Wisconsin stuff. So empty pick and roll means that there's nobody in this corner, in the strong side corner over here. And so now a store comes off the screen. He's immediately going to flip it and go back the other way. And so with Northwestern going under on the first, this rescreen right here forces Northwestern to have to go over. Um, and now store is just going to kind of hesitate right here, engage this big, and then attack. And this is just, I mean, this is pretty good defense, right? Walling up. And it's also just what AJ Store was on this game, and that was just tough shot making time and time again. Now, in the pick and roll, Wisconsin knew that they were going to have Crowell on the roll a ton, and they went to it a lot too. So this is really early in the shot clock, right? This is just kind of designed what they wanted to do. It is going to eventually flow into a screen right here for Blackwell. And you can already see, right, as even right here, Blackwell knows because Northwestern is going to kind of put their big more at the level type, um, not really drop back. He knows that this pocket window right here on the short roll to crawl is going to be there. And then with everything else going on and, and you know, respect as a shooter here, you can already, like, there's just nobody on this backside at all to help on this roll. So once Crowell gets it, he's going to get an easy dunk. And so in this one, eventually Wisconsin is going to get another pick and roll at the top here with Crowell. And this time Northwestern is in more of a drop, right? They're in more of a drop. And you can see here, they're actually wanting this. It looks like he's wanting this to be a switch. Um, but that's not going to happen. You can see him pointing. He's pointing for Crowell either for it to be a switch or maybe for Bowie to have to kind of – he's probably going to have to play two until Northwestern is able to recover. That never happens. Bowie's not going to rotate. Barnheiser doesn't rotate. And so now Northwestern is just going to be late getting to Crowell who popped. And now Crowell, who's been very aggressive these past two games, gets a very good-looking three to go. Now, Boo Booey scored 29 points for Northwestern, and they only had 61 total in this game. Booey was also efficient doing it and just doing it in a lot of ways. So this first one that we're going to look at, Northwestern, just they have good stuff throughout the entire game. Going to be off a base or sideline out of bounds play, and it's going to be very, very simple. You're going to see here, um, Carl's going to maybe be looking for kind of a pick and roll look or, or Booey to come back and get the ball. But this whole time, Booey's just going to get a back screen. And so with this, Store is going to stay. He's not going to switch or anything. And that's really going to force Klezman to have to get through if Store's not providing any help. And since it does, isn't there, Bowie's just going to have a wide open back cut. Really good pass from Barnheiser, getting Bowie the easy layup. And so now a couple plays later, Bowie's just feeling it at this point. And you're going to see this is a drag screen. So um, as just the ball handler is coming up, he's going to get a screen set right here. With it being this far away, and we're going to talk about this a little bit later, Blackwell still decides to go over, and that's also partially because of the angle of this screen, just kind of forcing Blackwell to go over. And so now with Crowell right here in this very deep drop coverage, that's just going to give Bowie all the room that he, way more room than he needs to get off a shot. Bowie doesn't need a ton of room to begin with, if any at all. And so now he's going to be able just to kind of walk into this pull-up three off the screen right there. This next set right here is just going to be a great one to get a Northwestern shooter open. It's going to start with a horns look. They're going to get it to hit to at the elbow. Um, hand off to Barnheiser, and this is all just decoy action. This handoff right here into the screen. All that this is trying to do is lull, pretty much store to sleep a little bit, as Langborg is going to fake like he's going to get a back screen, or set a back screen, and then he's just going to immediately fire through on this elevator screen. So this elevator screen means, imagine like the elevator door is closing. That's what Barnheiser and, and Preston right here are going to do. They're just going to close together. And so now Store, who is already trailing, he cannot shoot the gap at all. I mean, look, he tries to like almost jump over a little bit. He gets stuck, and now Langborg gets a very good three. AJ Store also went off in this game for 30 points, and he had a ton of tough buckets. So we're going to go through a couple here. Wisconsin is just in their normal offense, kind of step up screen. Then the ball is going to move, and now it's going to be to Store. And so why Store is wide open right now is because right here, you can see with, with Preston here in the drop coverage, there's a lot of pointing for Northwestern. Barnheiser's pointing at, at Crowell as somebody's got to take him up there. And then Smith right here is also pointing that, hey, there's AJ Store as he's going to. But what happens is both actually end up just going to the roller. And so now <clears throat> as the ball gets reversed, Store is going to be open and now he's going to attack. So he's going to attack right there, getting baseline. And then just, I mean, this is just where AJ Store has been good for most of the season and has really stepped up the past couple games, getting downhill, find space, creative way to get to the rim. 
And AJ Store was just he was just in one of those zones this game. So ball's gonna eventually move into kind of the empty side of pick and roll that Wisconsin loves to run. Now Store's kind of reading Martinelli here. And so instead of going off the screen, he knows he has this entire space to work with, and so he starts to drive. Now, Martinelli does a great job of, of staying in front. The only issue is Store has an even better counter to that, getting to the step back. And this play is just to show, like, Store was just, he was just out there creating for himself. And this type of shot creation and making is what Wisconsin desperately needs if they want to advance in March. Wisconsin, in general, played solid defense against the pick and roll against Northwestern, and it's also kind of two ideologies clashing. Wisconsin's cool giving up the jumpers, and Northwestern is a team that does not attack the rim at all. And so as these things kind of play out, that means Northwestern is just kind of at the mercy of quite literally whether jump shots go in or not. So this first screen, you're going to see Klesman there. He went underneath because Bowie's out so far. Now, Bowie did drill one of these later in the game, but with it being so far out, Klesman's going to go under and just stay with Bowie there. Nothing happening. Now Martinelli's going to, he's going to flow into one. And Barnheiser is going to try to ghost this. Um, and honestly, it kind of works for a second because Wall and Store both stay. And with your setting a ghost screen, which means you're not really making contact, this is the type of confusion you want to cause. Now, if Martinelli fires it to Barnheiser immediately, it's probably a much better result for them. But it takes Martinelli a sec to get there. So now Wall is able to close out five seconds left on the shot clock and Barnheiser is just forced to put one up. Now, don't get me wrong. We already went over. Boo Booey went off this game, but there was also just some good defense from Klesmet in, in general, and at least in moments throughout, and this is going to be one of them. So again, the screen's setting really high. Booey's going to try to refuse it. Klesmet stays with. And so this right here, this is just great screen navigation. You can see Martinelli. I mean, one Martinelli, like, as he's going to reset this, that's a really, really wide base in general. Still doesn't make a ton of contact with Klesmet, and Klesmet's able to get around. So a poor screen here does help. But Klesmet's now able to once again stay in front. And is this a shot Boo Booey can make? Absolutely. But if you're Wisconsin, you're probably cool with this compared to you know a wide open shot or anything like that. Klesmet can test. Just really good defense from him there. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and click here to see how Purdue beat Michigan State in the Big Ten Tournament.